in this video i'll introduce you to a new programming language and a very popular one named as sql some people call it as sql also sql stands for structured query language this is a very popular language this is not a language which is just used in saas this language is used in many other uh, environment uh, this is a uh, database programming language which is used in so many databases what are the databases you have heard in uh, you know in the modern times well there are so many databases in the market oracle db2 teradata mysql access so there are so many data sets from the different software companies sql the the main thing about sql is that sql is the standard language for all the databases there is a slight difference in the syntax but more or less it's the same even in saas we we use the uh, uh, same sql language there is slight difference from the uh, other uh, you know sql uh, languages in other uh, databases we learn the very basics of sql in this uh, in this particular session and of course we can uh, we can learn the advanced stuff in the subsequent sessions we call the sql engine in saas by using proc sql okay remember in the beginning i said that sql is a language that is used in the databases if we want to get something from the database we want to print something from the database we want to manipulate the database we want to uh, you know do, do something around the data uh, you know data sets there in the database we use uh, structure query language or sql it's a very simple language to learn and very powerful in fact uh, it's very important to learn if one uh, one is to make a career in the analytics field <coughs> the first thing that we learn in sql is the select statement okay i have a data set in in the uh, work library the name of the data set is abc1 let me see what is there in abc1 okay i'll not use this i'll use mortality this is my data set i want to print all the observations from this data set for that i'll use the select statement how do i write the select statement so this is how we write select star from mortality so this is the first thing that we learn in sql very basic thing let's learn you know the each of the keywords first proc sql is the sql engine so that's the first thing that we call remember sql engine is some word like a an external engine in in saas so we call it first and then select star from mortality what is this star or asterisk does it means we want all the information from this data set so asterisk when we put the asterisk sign it means all the information we can always extract only a limited uh, amount of information like one variable two variable or couple of more variables and uh, leave out some information there in the data set uh, that is also possible if you want all the observations or all the uh, variables just put this asterisk sign in proc sql we end the uh, code with quit remember we are calling it from outside so we always quit if you use run statement you will see at the top that this core query is uh, you know it, it's running forever so always make sure you uh, end the code with quit uh, whenever you are using proc sql let us run this and see
in the output you can see all the observation and all the variables are printed in the output what if i just want to print the variable death i don't want to print doge what i'll do is that i'll remove the asterisk and i'll just put this variable name uh, d e a t h select death from mortality now you can see in the output only that particular variable is printed in the output i can do a couple of more things uh, you know in the select step i can uh, extract the data or you know print the data based on some condition let me first introduce to you one very important uh, you know conditional clause the where clause where date equal to 1 so i want to select the date from mortality or all the observation i'll extract all the observation from the table mortality where death is 1 so death has a uh, values 1 and 0 right i want to extract all the cases where death is equal to 1 that for that i use where clause okay it's a conditional statement pretty much similar to the if clause in the uh, base as you can see in the output wherever you have death one the corresponding those values are printed along with death and similarly you can put as many condition as possible okay i can put the and here and then say what is the other variable name doge right doge is greater than 2 so there are two conditions now death must be 1 and then doge must be greater than 2 and you can see uh, you know it's printed you know all the cases are meeting the uh, two criteria that uh, we have uh, used in the query the next thing that we will learn is how to create another table or a new table from a parent table you have seen that in base as we use the set statement right in the data statement how to do that in sql proc sql create table uh i'll create mortality mortality 1 so it's a new table i'm creating based on what based on this statement right i'll keep all the observation where the two conditions are uh, meeting like uh, date this one and then those Uh, is greater than two. Okay. So whatever we have seen in the output window, right, will be there in the um, new data set. The name of the new data set is mortality one. Quit. Go to the log, and it says that mortality one is created with five rows and two columns. If you go to the explorer mortality one is created you can see it by yourself um a new data set is created for us so that's how we create a new data set by using the create uh, you know the create uh, keyword the next thing that we will learn is how do we sort how do we sort using proxyql we sort a data set in proxyql by using the order by step okay i'll do one thing i'll use the same query okay i'm creating a new data set uh, mortality 2 
the conditions are the same but I'll make sure that the new data set is sorted by by doge okay so uh, this will sort in the ascending order order by doge so that's how this syntax looks like select star from mortality where death is equal to 1 and doge is greater than 2 order by doge so order by is used for sorting a data set this will data set, this will uh, sort in the ascending order. I'll show you how you can also sort it by descending order. Right. So mortality two is created. Go to explorer and see mortality two. You can see uh, the data set is sorted uh, in the ascending order of those four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. So it's sorted. How do we sort in the descending order? Just use DESC. Oh, sorry, not there. Here, order by dose, then DESC. It will sort in the descending order of dose. Go to the um, mortality 2. Right. As you can see, uh, the data set is sorted in the descending order of dose. Make sure you don't open the uh, data set, the create table data set, uh, um, the new data set. If it is already created and you are just updating it, make sure it's not open when you are running the code. Of course, you can open the uh, parent data, that's not an issue. So, uh, that's all about uh, the SQL, it's the introductory session. So, I just covered the simple things related to uh, proc SQL. There are of course so many things to learn, uh, the joins, different kind of join, merging data set and then uh, so many other features of ProSQL. Uh, please watch the subsequent uh, videos on ProSQL.